Okay, y'all, so this video is literally just me wanting to get something off my chest because, like, as of lately, I really just haven't been feeling like outside of God, I ain't been having no real outlet for real besides my YouTube channel. And I just feel like why, what better way to have an outlet than your YouTube? Like, there's even more reason to take your content series but whatever y'all like it's gonna be a time when i get on here and it's gonna be like no drama i promise you it's gonna be a time in my life when i'm happy and things are going good and everything's good but not saying nothing is good now but of course i just feel like right now as i'm getting close to finishing school um, institution school, if y'all didn't know, if you knew here, I'm in institution school and I'm coming to an end, coming to a graduation, coming time to like the testing, coming time for me to get my business established and, um, my talents, my interests, like just doing everything and working with clients and everything. And I just feel like right now I'm just being tested. So I'm just kind of super annoyed. And then right now, my awareness is just everything like i've just been peeping a lot of stuff and once i peep a lot of stuff i just been like just falling back just to protect my energy or whatever have you and so yeah y'all like i had an incident this week i promise y'all it's really not a big deal to me no more the only reason why i'm bringing it up is for the simple fact that I end up seeing somebody that I used to associate with today at the gas station. And no, I'm not using no names because nobody is relevant on my YouTube channel but me, honestly. So I'm just telling you the scenario. But anyway, I seen somebody that I used to be associated with. And the first thing they say is... And this is so crazy to me how fast bad news travels. Like, bad news travels so fast. Like, I done did so many good things in my life. I done did so much good stuff for people. But the first time I did not satisfy somebody with the service, which I ended up leaving some tent on somebody for too long, and it just caused the service to be a bad service. Like, we just going to leave it at calling it a bad service, okay? Because I had to learn from this situation. Um, it wasn't hurt. It wasn't hurtful for me um, in a monetary gain, monetary gaining way. Like, I'm not, I'm okay with not being paid for services right now. Like, I'm still learning. I am not a pro at this. However, I do plan on being a pro at everything that I do. And I also would like to reap the benefits that come behind being a pro. But okay, back to the story. So I end up seeing this girl and she tells me that she works with the girl that I gave a bad service to. Okay, so back to the situation at hand. The situation was the girl came to me and asked me, can I do her brows? She told me she wanted to get a um, brow lift, which is brow lamination. She wanted to get them shaped and tinted, which I provided for her. Now, granted, you like the service or not, I still provide you with the service that you asked for. Okay, but back to the story. So, the whole time, the girl in my chair, I'm just talking to her. I'm trying to make her comfortable. Y'all, like, literally, um, just whatever, being a, trying to be a good, um, I guess, what do you call it? A good esthetician. I don't know, good service provider. I'm, I'm trying to be a good service provider for people, even though I'm just learning, you know, everything. And when she was there, it was all good until the end. I did feel the mood shift. So once I did feel the mood shift, I asked her, I'm like, okay, do you want me to um what do you want me to do like you want me to fix it like anything like i did try to like tone the brows down but i use grade a professional tint and it's like a high hybrid tint and it's like henna dye hybrid so it's some good stuff so it didn't lift right away and she was just like it's okay i'll just brush it and it'll go away whatever she was fine, you know, when she left. She 
I, um, and I only charged her for lamination, which is $60. This girl paid me $70, y'all, so I'm guessing she gave me a $10 tip, okay? But this was all before I asked her. I'm like, okay, you know, what you want me to do? This didn't third. She was like, oh, so it's okay. I got to go to a nail appointment. So, okay, she tipped me, she paid me, and she left. And I only charged her for lamination. I did not charge her for the 10 Lamination is $60. She paid me $10, so $70 in total. So, okay, um, hours later, I get a text, and I'm going to read the text. Again, I'm not going to say no names, but I just got to tell y'all the situation because let's talk about it. Since it was brought up again, I just want to talk about it, and I want to share because y'all my outlet. But, okay, let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. So, I got a text message that said, I'm really trying to be nice about this. But I've been trying everything to fix my brows all day. This is the same day of the service. And nothing is helping, which we already know. The same day, nothing is going to help. But okay, let me let me finish reading her text. I'm really trying to be nice about this. But I've, I've been trying everything to fix my brows all day. And nothing is helping. I thought I could maybe fix it and get over it, but I've been crying all day and I feel like I can't even leave my house. I just feel so ugly with them like this. I honestly just want my money back at this point. I'm really not trying to be a bitch, but I've been so upset all day and it's going to take forever for my eyebrows to fade and grow back right. I saw her text message, I looked at it, I read it twice, and I read it one more time, and I responded because I felt empathy, and that's my first instinct. I felt empathy, I felt bad, like, okay, I fucked up, let me make this right immediately. And she said the only thing that would make her feel better was she wanted the money back, so I said, my apologies, person name. I sent your money back. So, I read the message probably a hundred times, y'all. I read the message a hundred times just to make sure I was reading it right. But then I was thinking about, like, the energy of the day and everything, like how she was just asking me a lot of questions, you know. I felt like she was kind of sizing me up a little bit, but whatever, that's just... People ask me questions all the time about my life and why I do certain things, so I ain't thinking nothing of it, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I feel like this was a little motive to it or something, but I don't know, whatever. So, I did text her back. After I sent the money back, I should have let it go. I definitely should have let it go. <laughs> I should have talked to my mentor first before I responded back, but you live and you learn and I'm glad that I did it. I don't take nothing back. I'm standing on everything that I do because this is my life and this is how you learn, you know, trial and error. So however, I did take her back probably like a few hours later after I had was just thinking and in my head and trying to analyze the situation and really just trying to make it better. You know, so I did, I text her back. I said, again, I do apologize. I know exactly how you feel. I have had a bad service before, but I wanted to let you know that your message rubbed me the wrong way because I tried to fix the issue before you paid. Also, you received three services that literally changes the appearance and color of your brows, which you asked me for. I don't mind not being paid, but you still got service. I truly appreciate your feedback. Even though it was harsh and unfair, I learned a lot today. One, I'll never do a service without a policy in place, and you can't service everyone. I hope you will see exactly what I mean on your journey. You truly made me feel like I ruined your life. And I text her that. And she texts me back. She said, the only issue I had is the fact that the service you provided was nothing like I asked for. First of all, you just asked me to do the services. It don't matter, like, I don't know. Let me just finish reading. Let me just finish reading. Okay, let me just finish reading. 
She said, the only issue I had is the fact that the service you provided was nothing like I had asked for. I showed you the shape I was looking for and told you I only wanted one shade darker than my natural brow color, and that's fine. I'm sure someone else will love your work, but I don't believe what I said was harsh. I think your feelings are just hurt because I wasn't happy with your service, and I completely understand that. I'm sure I would feel the same way. Bitch. For real. I'm so... I'm I'm sorry for coming off in a way that didn't sit well with you because I genuinely wasn't trying to be rude. I was just very upset. And let me read the last thing I said. I said, ask for... You said what you... You said you wanted them to look like mine initially. I asked you for a picture. But okay, I'm trying to make it right. But you wanted your money back, so I guess I'll take it to the chin. Take care. And I put her ass on the block list after that. I ain't gonna even hold you. I ain't gonna even fucking hold you. What? Did they leave my food at the front desk? Why would they do that? Okay, y'all, I'll be back. I gotta go get my food from downstairs. And we gonna, when I come back, we're gonna talk about this. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I had to go downstairs and get my food. I ain't go. I know it is late, too. I gotta get back to the store. I don't wanna get sidetracked, but I came to Birmingham because I thought that I was about to get my braces taken off. But as you can see, they still on. I decided to go with a Valentine color. I got hot pink at the top and fire red at the bottom. Cause I'm finna have these on until April. And then after that, I'm gonna get my permanent retainers. And I I was so excited today. I left my camera at home. I know I said I wasn't gonna vlog on my um I wasn't gonna vlog on my phone this year because over a year ago I invested into a camera that was twelve hundred dollars. And I barely use it. And I barely use it because I didn't know how to really use it. And I lost some footage on it. So I kind of just put it up and I ain't picked it back up. But I bought some more gadgets that go to it. I learned how to get all of my footage off the camera. So I'm supposed to be utilizing it. Oh, yeah, that's really finna be good. But let me finish telling y'all story so I can get into my food and get into the bed. But... Um, Oh, and I also got my lashes done. The perfect lash on Instagram, in case y'all was wondering. I got, and right now, she having a um, Valentine's Day special. I just realized today, because it was a little bit too cheap. I'm like, what? Come here and say what? Like, literally almost $100 off my service today for my Valentine's Day special. So, yes, um, I'm going to post this before it's up. Y'all go book my girl. The perfect lash on Instagram. Can y'all get in, get into it? And yes, I'm being ghetto right now. I don't even got no tripod. I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all before I go to bed because I wanted to dead this, and I also wanted to ask y'all some questions because we do not interact, y'all. Please do not text me about this situation because I want to move on from it. If we want to talk about it or if you want to tell me if I was wrong in the situation, comment on the video. Do not do not write me on social media about this. Do not write my phone about this. Please, 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 please do not text me about this. Let's talk about it in these comments pertaining to this video because th this is where I want to keep this at. This is a business conversation. It's no longer personal no more, but... I just wanted to ask y'all, okay, with the situation had been said, y'all know what happened. So, like, I gave her the money back. First of all, let me pull up. I got to pull up the facts since we talking about facts. I'm not reading the messages no more. Y'all heard what I said. If y'all didn't hear what I said, just go rewind the video. But straight up and down, first of all, this girl was my first paying customer. I'm just being real with y'all. This girl was my first paying customer of the year. Everybody else has mostly been models. Yes, the models do tip me, but I haven't been expecting nothing and getting everything. But this girl was the first person that came to me and told me she was going to pay. And she was also the first person that told me she wasn't satisfied. Nah, don't get me wrong. I haven't did everybody's brows perfect. Don't get me wrong. I'm still learning. It is trial and error. I am constantly talking to these women that I service 
I'm constantly talking to them, just, you know, making sure, because I'm from Alabama. I'm from a small town. I went to Los Angeles, California to learn this, this, um, this niche and to come down here where they not really doing, I'm trying to force it on them. Like, this is going to be hard for me for real. So I'm just, I just took some models trying to see if they are like, and I'm just keeping in contact with everybody. Now, when it come down to that tent, I am not going to lie. I am not Picasso with the tent yet, but I plan on being there. I'm going to keep working toward it. That's really what the girl didn't like. And truth be told, I didn't even charge her for the tent, y'all. I literally only charged her for the lamination. I just made my price list today, but um, she was going to be my first customer. I already knew what my price was going to be. I had it down, so she was going to... Initially, she was supposed to pay me... let's see a hundred and some dollars a hundred and some dollars let me see let me add it up let me add it up let me add it up because i i wanted to be fixed i just want i wanted to be fixed because i don't i know how i feel to be lied on and that's i don't like that a hundred and five dollars exactly was how much her service was supposed to be in total in all honesty but i only charged her sixty dollars for the lamination because I know that, I just, I don't know, it's just something about me. I'm real nice. That's what it is. I'm real nice, and I just feel like since I'm not pro at the tent, I just feel like I shouldn't charge her for that. And that made me feel some type of way because that's not true. I spend my personal money trying to build this, so I have to charge for it whether I'm personal or not. So that's why I just want to know, like, y'all comment below. Let me know if am I wrong for where am I wrong for in this situation? Because the okay, oh that's the that's the thing. I ain't we didn't even talk about it. Okay, so anyway, the girl who stopped me today, she said I was wrong. And I don't know, I was just I ain't even asked nobody was I was wrong. I just wanted to know like what what should I was just asking people what their opinion is. What what would you would have done in that situation? And I asked a couple people that's not busy on them and I asked people that are busy on them. Mostly the business owners and the mentors, they made sense to me. Nobody, first of all, they told me I was, they did tell me what I was wrong for. The business owner, they told me I was wrong for giving her the money back for the service just because she wasn't satisfied with the service. Just because you're not satisfied with the service, that doesn't mean that you got to get the money back. And plus, that was going to be on my policy anyway. Your satisfaction is not guaranteed here. If I have to use a product the stuff i use professional grade a products let's keep that in mind that stuff come out of my pocket you not paying me for my talent you paying me for you paying me for the product and you also paying me for the time put in as well but i'm not even charging for my time yet i'm only charging for the for the product so y'all just comment below what would you do if you gave somebody a bad service and they was not satisfied with the service, would you give them their money back? Or what, what would you do? Like, literally, tell me what would you do and tell me how was I wrong in the situation. Please comment below. And we can do that right there. Like, that's all. I just want to talk to, talk to y'all about that before I, I went to bed. Because it was just crazy, y'all. Like... <laughs> That, I ain't gonna lie, had me feeling some type of way because I'm really nice. I'm just too nice. And, like, why am I feeling bad for charging for something? Like, this is business. Like, how do you not take something personal, pers this personal? Or how do you, whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm just so confused. Like, this is my outlet. This is, like, my little journal. Because I feel like I ain't talking to a lot of people in a way. This ain't gonna reach a lot of people. Let me not say that. Let me not speak no nope, negativity just because i got negative things going on at the moment like i know my channel gonna get big one day and i'm not just talking to myself on here like that's why i want y'all coming up on here so i can know like who's here who's listening who's watching who's really supporting me because that's how i just be feeling sometimes i really be feeling like my back against the wall and that's why like I ain't gonna say I'm rushing anything, God. Y'all already know I'm not rushing anything. Me and God, we already got to understand that we right here with each other. But I'm just so ready to be done with esthetician school. I'm ready to pass my test, both of them. And I'm ready for my lease to be up in my apartment. 
I am ready to get my gold body. Like, I'm finna be 28 this year, y'all. 28 years old. Like, I done came a long way. Like, I look different. My bank account is different. My mindset is different. Like, everything about me is totally different. And I got to stray away from the people that keep on trying to make me feel like I'm just that same person or this way I'm at. Like, trying to box me in. I just got to get away from all of that, y'all. Like, that's just where I'm at with everything. Like, I just want to let everything go. And I promise y'all. I ain't gonna say my next vlog gonna be just me up and leaving because I still got some things to do and things to put in order. But I promise y'all, that's coming. That's literally coming. I'm finna get the fuck on. I'm finna go somewhere and I'm finna start over. I'm finna start me over a new life because I'm totally different and I'm liable to do that. Like, I literally can do that. I don't have no kids. I got good credit. I got money put up. Like, I'm really not fucked up out here. Like, People be talking about I need to be humble this day and third. I really have been being humble for real, for real. Because I ain't really been popping my shit. Like, I ain't worked no job in over a year. Like, I'm really out here handling my motherfucking business. And I already know my business going to prosper. I'm going to prosper. Everything I do going to prosper. 2024 the year completion. And I'm finna get it done. Everything I said I was going to do, I'm, I'm doing it. I done did it. And I'm proved, like, I'm ready for everything all of the good the bad like y'all just don't understand i'm just i but the only thing is i'm not finna stay here amongst people or i'm not finna keep keep on trying to just keep people around and they don't really want to be around for real they really projecting they really got animosity and shit like people oh oh my god it's just so much like my awareness just being everything and i've been right and it's so crazy because the girl that told me this stuff, like, she used to be on my social media, but I had deleted her off social media, like, a while ago. And it's just so crazy, like, how she ended up running to the girl that ended up getting a bad service by me so they can be amongst each other and talk about me. Like, that was just so crazy to me. But, y'all, don't, none of that shit hurt me, like, hurt my pockets anyway, because first and foremost, I just want y'all to know what my mission statement is. I don't need nobody's money when it come down to when it come down to what I want to do in my life I can do this shit for free you feel me long as I'm fulfilling this is what I want to do I'm happy to wake up every day and make somebody day like if I can take some hair off your face that'll make your day I can do that like I'm finna be a licensed esthetician like I'm low key finna be a, a low key therapist that can touch you and analyze things about your body like everything so like I'm finna really be a big deal and I'm still not finna be done like I'm taking continued education courses like I'm just doing so much like and I don't want to speak on too much because I know it's people that watch me and literally pray against me I feel all all of that. I feel all of that. Like, I know who really here for me. And it ain't too many here for me for real, for real. I, I know all of it. But I just want to um let y'all know that if you rocking with me, please hit that subscribe button. <laughs> because we I'm only going to get better. And if you rocking with me, you going to be better too. Oh, and another thing. I just want to say one more thing. I'm tired of people feeling like I owe them something or I don't, I want to be the low maintenance person in your life. Like I'm over here trying to get my life together. Don't be feeling like I'm gatekeeping or not giving you the information that you asked for. But I'm tired because let me just say, let me just say, it. let me not beat around the bush. I'm tired of being the person that's doing the research, putting the money in investing i'm tired of talking it walking it living it by myself and then you feeling like i'm supposed to just give it all to you nah bitch y'all finna do the work too i'm not finna just be giving y'all no free no nah this ain't that i'm the one putting in the work and i'm this then the third like if you want it bad as i want it you gonna do the same shit i'm doing like i'm not gatekeeping nothing from y'all but it's exhausting when y'all say I'm, I'm learning too how could i just I'm trying to learn and then you want me to give it all to you. Like, no, nah, you go do the same shit. Come with me. You put in the same amount of hours, the money and everything. And then I, I will be willing to help you. But no, nah, I'm not finna just give it to you and I'm investing. Like, no, nah, y'all. A lot of people just been having me fucked up lately, y'all. 
like for real like we gotta stop using this friend term loosely delete the motherfucking people off social media that um just be projecting that always be having negativity it's okay like i don't i deleted so many people on social media like and i do not hate hate them i promise you it's all it's still all love it's just i don't want no dealings with none of that shit that remind me of old shit i'm on some whole other shit right now in my life y'all like i'm so serious like but that's neither here nor there. Y'all see what the fuck going on. Y'all can go back and look at my old videos. Ain't no cap in my fucking rep. I look totally different. I'm putting in the fucking work. I'm investing in my body and my life, period. Like, y'all hoes better catch up and get the fuck out my way. And that's just where I'm at with it. But I'm finna um, eat this, enjoy this salad. I'm gonna upload like, this video because it's just a little shit chat. It was gonna be a little get ready with me, but... And it ain't even got no intro. No intro. Just call me KT. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button because you ain't going to want to miss none of my videos. Y'all, I just keep it real here. Y'all like my diary. I talk to y'all. So, that's just where I'm at with everything. But, good night, y'all. i see y'all on some upcoming events. I really don't have nothing going on. I'm really just counting down in school, going to school every week. I might be planning me a trip out of town somewhere soon because, like I said, I'm just ready for my lease to be up. I'm ready to graduate, take my test because I'm finna get the fuck out of this small ass Alabama. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm getting the fuck out of Yahweh, okay? You won. You won. You, you got it. You got it.